Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. By default, when we log in, we see this home page here. This is fine for now, there is no need to change this. What I want to do this time is to create a new route, something like this for example. Profile, and then we can say the username, for example, Renato or Jessica or Jennifer, whatever. So for this new route, I need a new controller. How does the profile controller sound to you? I think this is okay. So PHP Artisan, make a controller, profile controller. Now that we have the controller, we need to set up the route for this. So if you go to the web.php file, we can build the route. Okay, so remember that the URI is profile and then the profile of the user. So we can do this, a route, of course it is a GET request, and then profile, and pay attention here. This part right here is dynamic, so it changes, which means that this is a parameter, a route parameter. Okay, so how can we do this? Well, if you go to the web file, we can use the curly braces for this. So we can say something like this, curly braces, and then we give the name of the route parameter. For example, username. So this one here, the username, is our route parameter. Route parameters are always between curly braces. Now the next part is very well known, you have to use the controller that we just created, and you have to call a function. In our case it can be profile, I think this is okay. So we need to set this up, so if I go to the profile controller, we can create the function here public function profile. Now again, pay attention here. In the route, we have one route parameter. To access whatever the user inserts here for that parameter, we need a parameter here in the function to access it. You can call it whatever you want, but I will keep this very simple and call it username. I think it makes sense. So what I will do is to return this and see what happens. Return username and let's go back for this. So if I click enter here, you see that it returns Erika, which is the username of the profile. So if I say here Renato, it will return Renato. So whatever you type here, it will return it. So this is good because now we can use the username to get the user, to fetch the user. So let's do it. Instead of returning the username, what, what, I, what I will do user and then we can use the user model. And of course we have to import this. And we can call where. So where username is equal to username. Of course you can also do something like this. User where and then you say username equals to username. So they are pretty much the same but this one I think it is a bit better. However, if you still want to do it in another way, then you can use something like this. User, where, and then username equals to username. So all of these are the same, they will give you the same result. But what I prefer is this one. So I will delete this and yeah. In the end, do not forget that you have to call first. So if you do not call this, then you will get an error. But what first does is to return the first user that finds with that username. So let's actually return this and see what we have now. Let's go back and see. Hmm, okay, so this is a blank page, but remember, we do not have a user with this username. So if I say Renato in my case, then we get a JSON response back, and this is actually a user in our users table. Of course, if you want to access only email, for example, you can do it. You can say something like this, user and then email. And there you are. If you want to access, well, let's see what else we have. Well, if you want to access, for example, the created at, you can do that again, created at. So whatever you want to access, you can do that. Another thing that I want to mention in this video is that we can get the type of this user here by using dd. So if I say here dd and I pass the user, you will see that this is a user type, right? And of course you get a lot of information here. For example, if you remember the fillable array, you get all the fields that are fillable. 
the name, the email, the password, the username, the DOB. So if you go to the user model here, you will see that whatever we have in this fillable array here, we also have it right here. And the hidden, again, password, remember token, they're also here. So you get a lot of information by using DD. I will bring this back and in the next video now, what we will do is to actually create the view for the profile.